If you have a small amount of cancer, whatever the cancer, if it doesn't come back or doesn't grow any further, then your disease is under control. Everybody hopes we get a cure for these cancers, but there's no one single magic bullet. A lot of these cancer patients, they are you know, immunocompromised. So if you're sending them to an infusion clinic or hospital, you're putting them at the risk of getting infected with, you know, say for example, COVID-19. Phoenix is a biopharma company focused on oncology that's involved in discovery, development, and commercialization of oncology products. So essentially what we're doing is we want to bring cancer drugs to the patients. Our number one drug candidate is called Oropacataxel. Pacataxel is a uh, chemo agent that has been widely adopted by the physician community for over 20 years. The trick is Pacataxel traditionally has been used intravenously. Here in Hong Kong, we have a team that's focused on formulation. What we're trying to do is convert this IV Pacataxel into something that can be administered orally. One is to bring up the efficacy of the drug the second thing is we also wanted to reduce the side effect. For certain cancers, we named arginine octotrophic cancers. Arginine is an absolute essential amino acid, meaning that these cancer cells have to extract or derive this amino acid from the body. Since the late 1990s, the year 2000, and I've been working on this compound called BCD100, which by manipulating the arginine contents in the human bodies could arrest or retard cancer growth. And hence, this is like the Achilles tendon of the cancer cell. If you could control the, the growth of it, you could improve the patient's survival and potentially reduce their symptomatology. We're very, very pleasantly surprised to see a case of malignant melanoma in a guy in his uh, early 60s who had multiple melanomas. After a couple months of treatment, the tumour along the lining of the lungs just disappeared. So that gives us a lot of encouragement. We're actually in the very final stage of our drug development process. We've completed our phase three study. So we're putting together the final package that will be submitted to the US FDA. If we're able to prove oropacataxel is not only more effective than avipacataxel, and at the same time, it has much less side effect than avipacataxel, then we will be able to change the entire landscape of uh, cancer treatment. We're not saying that PC100 will cure cancer. We're saying that it has an effect in certain cancer and by inducing remissions could potentially pair with other agents to, to improve the, the efficacy. I always encourage patients if you could control the cancer at a certain low level, then we don't get killed by the cancer.